Hi stationary friends, welcome to Ginger Peachy Stationery. My name is Sarah and today I want to share with you a little um, unboxing, unpackaging um, haul from Rickshaw Bagworks. Um, this is partially um, inspired, influenced by a friend of mine on Instagram who got one of these items and um, I was like, ooh, I think I need that. So um, then I started looking and I was like, oh, I could really use some of these, several of these things. So um, I placed an order and I started to look into it um, a few minutes ago and I thought, you know what? Let me film it because I saw a couple of extra goodies in there that surprised me. Um, if you can see under my fingernails, please forgive me. I've been working out in my friend's yard with her today, um, moving sticks and putting them in a burn pile and she was running the tractor and I was helping her get the tractor unstuck and all kinds of things. So I did wear gloves, but I also got dirt under my nails. So forgive me, but um, anyway, let's dive into this. I'm pretty excited. So I'm just gonna stick my hand in and what comes out is what comes out. So first of all, I got a, um, a little uh, single pen sleeve. Um, did not need this, guys. I've got a bunch of these. Um, I've got a bunch of these, but I love this little dog pattern. I think it's just so cute. Um, you might know I have a little dog who's my little buddy. And so this was just kind of an extra add on to my order. Um, well, let's see, let me find a pen and I'll show you how it fits in there. Here is a, an Estherbrook SD, um, caramel, uh, honeycomb and it slides right in. This is, I think this is the long. Um, so they said, um, this particular single pen sleeve only comes in the long size. So some of your like small Kaveco sports and things might get kind of lost in there, but for, you know, a, a medium to large pen. See, here's a, um, Pelican M205 and let's see. Yeah, it goes in there pretty deep. I can pinch it off there, but you just pinch it from the bottom and it pops right up. I'll come out. So anyway, that was just a little um, extra that I was excited to order. Let's see. Oh, a bonus. Bonus. A little, looks like a little zipper bag in a Ziploc bag. Ooh, look at this. It's a little pink bag. The rickshaw uh, cat, lion on it. Lined with matching pink. Wonder if they um, noticed that I like pink. <laughs> this is great. Oh, look, it's got a little loop here that you could put a Caribbean, Caribbean, <laughs> a carabiner or something on it and clip it to something. Caribbean. That's hilarious. Okay. There we go. Let's see next. Oh yeah, this is my stickers. So I saw these stickers. I got excited about them and I couldn't choose a color and then I was like well I don't want just one because what I don't know you know what if one gets dirty or it gets lost and then I don't have another one and, you know you do that little game um it's a plush um little heart oh look how fuzzy it's made out of the material that's on the inside of um you know a lot of their products this fuzzy material <gasps> I'm so excited and it's a sticker so I can stick it to something I don't know what I'm gonna stick it to, but I'm excited. I got this color and I got this color. Let's see. Oh, two nice pinks. And they both, well, they all came with stickers. Royal Plush by Rickshaw Bagworks. That's their logo. So it looks like each one came with the same stickers, maybe a different color. Oh, I wonder if they matched them to the... Ah, oh, I love these. These are so cute. Another hug. More stickers. I'm going to be able to put stickers on everything. And then here's one more. I know you didn't need to see this four times, but here we are. I showed you all four. And more stickers. So, look how cute they are! Ah! I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but, and these two are the same color, or they're supposed to be. I guess they're just, oh look, they're just like different directions. 
they were just cut in different directions. So when I turn them this way, they look the same. But when I turn one around, it looks darker, ha! <laughs> because they're just cut, you know, possibly like this to fit, you know, more on on a page. They were maybe lined up kind of like this or something. I don't know. I would probably do that if I were cutting out hearts. So, touch my little stickers. I love these little paper envelopes too. Um, they are great to stick like in a journal. You can put little things in there that you don't want to glue down or to put stickers in and throw them in your bag or whatever. So I hang on to these little wax paper envelopes, at least for the time being. Okie dokie. Oh, okay, this is my little Retro 51. Um, this is the Buzz Bees um, pattern. And um, if you have known me for a while, you might know that the Buzz Bees, Buzz Re Rescue Bees Retro 51 Tornado is my favorite Retro 51. I love lots of the limited ones, but I adore this one. It has this beautiful texture, texture, um, I'm tired, words are not working, um, and the bees and the color is just gorgeous, and it has this little bear on the top that's so sweet, makes me happy. So I have had this um, single pen sleeve for a while, and I keep it in my purse with my pencil for choir, but I was thinking that the two pen sleeve would be great to carry both a pencil and a pen in my purse um, together. And look how cute they are in there. Aww. So I can throw that in my purse and I know that they are safe. This is the little Winnie the Pooh from the Winnie the Pooh set pencil. Um, I need to put the extra lead in my purse, I think, because I don't know, I was using it at choir last night and it kept doing something kind of weird. This is my first Retro 51 Tornado pencil, so I'm kind of getting used to it. And I'm really afraid of using the eraser down too far and then not being able to pull the eraser out to replace it. Um, so yeah, anyway. But I have been using the eraser a lot. So there's that. That's there. Oh, then I got one of these pen pillows. Is that what they're called? Pen pillows. And I couldn't decide black or white. So I got one that is double-sided. And here was my, my main thought for this, was to be able to use it for um, for like Instagram. I mean, I do, I will use it on my desk just for me. But also I was thinking to have both the black and the white, you know, I would not necessarily want to put a black pin on this side, you know? So, um, but this side would be great for certain pins to really pop. But um, then this side, you know, works for pens that are really dark. And uh, truthfully, I have very few <laughs> very dark pens, so it might not have been that big of a problem. But like, here's an amethyst um, pelican, and that will certainly work better, you know, in the um, in better lighting. Also, it will look better there than it does here. I think. Anyway, so I just got the double-sided one because why not? And I can uh, flip it around as I ch as I uh, wish. Oh, here's another little envelope <gasps> full of stickers. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Come out. Okay. There's one still in there. Log out. Ink up and write on. I love this. <gasps> what a great reminder. Log out, ink up, right on. Another logo one. Look how cute. Oh, I love this like 60s, 70s inspired um, design. How awesome. Ooh, a bee to go with my bees. And here is the cat. Is it a cat? Is it a lion? That's sort of a mane. Like, does anybody know? <laughs> but he has a, ri a rickshaw bag and an ink bottle with a quill pen. Look how cute his little face. And a sakura flower. That's a sakura flower, isn't it? I believe so. Um, that's beautiful. I love these. <sighs> so many stickers. <laughs> Just look at this. Oh, and I missed one. 
Um, I didn't mention at the beginning, like I meant to, that Rickshaw is in San Francisco and they make pen cases, <laughs> pen products, and bags, and things. Um, thank you for your order. Oh, look how cute, a little postcard. I really need to make a little spot on a bulletin board or something that I can put postcards, because I have like postcards from Galen Leather and from, you know, places, and I should do something with them, because this is not obviously blank, um, so I can't like send it to someone, but, you know, I want to hang on to it, figure out something to do with it. And I think last but not least, yeah, I have like a my order, my receipt in there. I got a big pen pillow. This is the one that inspired the whole order. <laughs> um, so again, I was like, I really want pink because pink is my color that I like. But then I was like, well, it's pink too, like pink. <laughs> so how about let's do pink and purple? So I did the pink and the, you know, I don't know if it's called lavender. I think it was called lavender. Pink and violet or something double-sided pen pillow this is kind of weighty it's got some like beans in it or something oh I think I did read they're like plastic beads kind of things in there so it's kind of weighted down and you just throw your pens on there and not worry about them they're not gonna get scratched this is a, an SD um, Estabrook SD oversized so you can see how long that is here is that's the here's the standard SD again. Um, let's see what other long pens do I have. Here is a Franklin Kristoff Model 66. Ah! Um, it is quite long, and it goes right on there. Would look better on the pink side because it's purple. But yeah, look at that. I know my lighting is bad in here y'all. I'm looking forward to summertime when I have light later in the day so that I will have more opportunity to be at my desk um, when there's daylight and have better lighting. But my desk also just like it doesn't really face a window. It's just not a great place. My whole apartment is pretty dark. So anyway, all that to say, thank you for watching. Um, I highly recommend Rickshaw. I have been um, using some of their products. Let's see for a while. I've got a little handful of these single pen sleeves. Um, where's my one? This one is from Cru de Plume, the New Orleans um, pen club. And um, today is Mardi Gras. So um, now that, that I'm filming this on is, is Tuesday, Mardi Gras day. So it's kind of appropriate. Um, I think the only other knock product I own is a bag. It's, it's like a square. It's like 12 or 14 inches square little tote bag with a strap that I throw over my shoulder when I go to get the mail when I think that there are going to be things in the mailbox. Um, it's not in here with me to show you. But anyway, I highly recommend Rickshaw Bag Works. Um, go look at them for their pen cases, for their tote bags, things like that. Um, yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I do not have any of their pen koozies, like the ones where you can shove a bunch of stuff all in there, but I just looked at them and I, I, I think they're awesome and I do think I would probably use one, but um, I just don't need, you know, need that kind of, which, do I need any of this? Not really. But that's not really a need that, like something that I'm like looking for right now is that kind of functionality. Um, this is a Knock Co. Uh, Sinclair, let me see, from Knock. Um, Knock is no longer making their own goods, but Rickshaw is now making this product, the Knock Co. Sinclair. Um, it's a little larger, it's a little bit thicker, and it has a pocket on the outside, and it's made with the plush on the inside, the Rickshaw, this kind of stuff. Um, so I would like one of those at some point, but I already own two. <laughs> two of the knock Sinclairs and so I don't need it you know again I didn't need any of this but like that would just you know be a third one similar to these just kind of upgraded um so anyway highly recommend Rickshaw I will link them below and um yeah 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.